All right, guys, what's going on? Today we're back on the uh, new alt account here. This will just be like recorded as an intro for whatever video I do next. I might do some level one pushing. I might do some pushing on this account. Um, not my main account for a bit, though. Kind of burnt out on that. But yeah, we're uh, just doing this little thing here because I got the legendary king's chest on Trophy Road. Uh, you got 4,000 trophies, whatever. But yeah, unfortunately, the leagues don't start until yeah 5,000 now. And it they moved up all these cards here, like Executioner is now 4,600, and yeah, Tornado, which I need also, is like somewhere, yeah, Legendary Arena Tornado, torn ah, tornado is at, so yeah, we're just going to open up this Legendary King's Chest and see what we get here. All right, it's so 4,200 gold, pretty good. Get a ton of wild cards there, 81 out of 50. Um, 18 rares and we're gonna get a legendary one there so that's pretty good um so that's weird the common wild cards overlapped um and went past the limit but i guess the epic ones are not gonna do that um yes yeah, so we're gonna get electric dragons instead so then we're gonna get this um i probably won't want to use it on log or inferno dragon i don't know i'll just see what we get from the legendary at the end here. So yeah, we're just gonna pick guards since we uh, haven't unlocked that yet. You can go giant there since we're trying to level that one up. Gonna go prince there since I have not unlocked that one either. Uh, skeleton barrel. Don't really care about any of those. Fireball is more useful, I guess. But we're probably not gonna use any of those again. Yeah, balloon there. <laughs> Definitely not using expo on this account ever. Um, all right, so Miner or Ram Rider? Oh, it's actually a tough one. But as far as just... Ooh, I don't even know. Um, so Ram Rider has a super good defensive ability with the Miner being able to chip away on towers, and I don't know. I think I'm probably going to go with the Ram Rider. I don't know if that was a good choice or not, but uh, so we can use this on either in front of ram or the log. They're definitely not the log. Um, I'll decide that later. But yeah, I think the ram rider is gonna be the best here because once I get, um, I'm I'm gonna try to get mega knight to replace the giant skeleton. I was hoping I I would get mega knight out of that uh, chest right there. So, Ram Rider obviously synergizes a lot better with, uh, like, Mega Knight, Inferno Dragon, uh, and Log, I guess, a lot better than Miner would. So, actually, no, that's, well, they're both pretty much equal there, actually. Because I know there's that one, like, Mega Knight deck that has Miner in it, with, like, Skeleton Barrel and all that, but, I don't know, it's, it's pretty much equal there, it doesn't really matter. So, we're just gonna tap those to get the notifications away. Uh, where was the other new one at? Oh, guards. All right. So, yeah, I'll get on to the rest of the video now. All right, guys, I decided we're going to be doing uh, just some ladder pushing on the main account. I said I wouldn't do it, but, you know, who cares? Just going to get in here. Some live games for once today. Uh, I don't really care how I do. Just going to try to get in probably like three or so games since that intro probably took a long time. Um, yeah, it's so just going to go... Skeleton Barrel here. He's going with the Goblin Cage. We're set with a Knight in the back probably in a second here. See what he has for that. Ooh, that's no good. Press go Dark Goblin into here. And yeah, it's looking like he's going to have... Oh, we do not want that to die. So we're probably going to go with the Goblin Gang to distract this. Uh, he's gonna put that bomber uh, really poorly there, so the Dark Album's gonna go crazy on the tower. Alright, he's gonna have to defend the barrel still, so... He shouldn't have enough for lightning, and yep, that E-Giant is getting destroyed right there. Um, I bet he does have an elixir advantage on us. Maybe, maybe not, because he didn't spin anything for the barrel, and... I don't know, it should be even, though, because that would be 8 Elixir, and he spent 8 for the Giants. So I think, I think we're all good here. Hands already looking like uh, probably a win for us. 
I'm not going to go in for the barrel because that would mean that he could just play a Mother Witch and my Fireball's level 12 and it will not kill the Mother Witch. So I'm just going to play it calm here and <laughs> yeah, just play defense, I guess. Um, the Brawler should be spawning out. I mistimed that kind of. Okay, definitely going to go with the Fireball and all this stuff. Um, and yeah, the Mother Witch will die, so no need to <clears throat> worry about, yeah, saving the Fireball there since the Goblin was able to take it out. And now we can go with a nice and easy, uh, Skeleton Barrel right there. He's going in with all that, and yeah, as long as this Inferno Tower just survives, and I can just go, like, Dark Goblin or something on there. Yeah, I think we're good right here, um... Go knight here as well. Oh. I think we might be fine here. Okay, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, that's definitely gonna die to fireball right now. Just log back on there. We have to survive one more uh big defense. Can we do it? Just going with that there. Okay, it's definitely going to be a two-tower game. Or maybe he could have logged that and saved it, but he's going to... I bet he's going in right here, to be honest. And try to go with the Dark Goblin super far off here. Shouldn't be able to tornado it in. Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's really hard for me to commentate live. Sorry, guys. It's like my first time doing this in a bit. Okay, I think this should be GG right here. Oh, boy. That was a good game to start it off with, in my opinion. Um, he definitely came back there, but we were able to go with some... Uh, knight in the pocket right there, tank for everything, and get the win. So we're going to try to go for, like, 6,300 uh, right now, I guess. If I lose, then I'll just quit after, like, three or four games. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I have to win all of them to get 6,300. But it's possible, so... Let's see here. Just probably going to go log, starting play. All right, he's going with a ghost. Um, don't want that to be getting tons of damage, which it would if I didn't spend that much. So, Okay, he's got log and ghost. That is already telling us it's going to be pretty off meta. Um, so we're just going to let those minions connect since he ignored the golem barrel for so long. We pretty much have to just let that connect right there, and then we'll have a... Goblin Gang right here, and he's going with the Executioner, so probably time to go opposite lane. Um, we'll see what he does. I don't want to go Knight on that. And then Barrel in the back, and then we'll go Goblin Gang on the Royal Ghost. Okay, he's going to catch that. Well played to him. Um, they're gonna have to let those minions go again, I think. Unfortunately. Because, yeah, he would definitely be way too far ahead in Elixir if we did not let that happen, so. Um, he's going in that lane. We'll make him use an e Wiz or something over here so we can go Inferno Tower on the P.E.K.K.A. Hopefully that's what happens. Um, yes, thank you. So now we also have a damage advantage over there, so it's going to be actually, like, uh, worth it for us to go into that lane. And good thing I got that Inferno Tower down the exact second I did. Otherwise, that the Inferno Tower locked onto the graveyard, that would be not cool at all. Okay, he's going Ghost over there. He's going Minions for that. We'll go with another Deep Barrel. Maybe he won't suspect it this time. Um, and the front tower should still be alive to take a hit of that, so I can go Dark Goblin right there to mostly finish that off. 
Yeah, I think it's time to do something like this. If he's going E-Wiz, let me Fireball. And now he has nothing good for my Skeleton Barrel. As long as it pops right there, that's good. And then we'll go Knight on the XC. Ooh. Okay, we should be good here as long as the dark... Oh my god, no, 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 no. No idea how the dark goblin died, but... Rip. <laughs> that might have been what lost us the game. Um, and he's going to catch that. Yep, that's going to be a good game right there. Um, that's stupid. Um, just because uh, well, we still have a chance, I guess. If not a single skeleton, but now we're, we're screwed right there. Good game to him. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll keep going right here. We're not that far off from 6,300. If we lose another game at any point... Then we will just stop it all and call it a day. Yeah, I definitely should have won that. That was just really unlucky for us. I'm just going to dark out one right here. I don't have my night and cycle. Another executioner deck. Um, Inferno will be able to take care of all that, especially with the... Uh, uh, Dark Goblin shipping in there. Should get a few hits. He's going to overcommit. Um, and now we're going to have a nice Skeleton Barrel push coming his way. So he's going to have Hog XC with uh, Archer. So we're definitely going to be looking out for the uh, Tornado. Since we see the S Executioner. And hopefully that doesn't kill everything. And it does rip. All right. So, we have all that. Uh, for the execution, we'll still have to go with a log. Oof, okay. Hopefully, nope, he's seeing that too. That's the second guy in a row who's actually smart enough to know that. Uh, like, actually catch the deep barrel, so that's pretty unexpected for this trophy range, but... And they both have Executioner, which is super annoying for the Skeleton Barrel, because like just one swipe can just kill all the Skeletons. So if I was going to go with Hog right there, um, Knight might get a hit. I don't really care too much. Let's see what he does here. Can he go Executioner? No way. That hit the Dark Goblin. That is... I've been scammed. He's definitely going to go with the Hog right here. Mini Pekka doesn't matter. Gonna go with the barrel off to the side this time, and the knight should definitely get across good. He's gonna go with a knight though. Good timing by him. Just gonna go skeleton barrel opposite lane. Don't want him building up too much stuff. Probably should have been going opposite lane earlier, uh, but we're still fine. Okay, he's going the mega knight, so he's gonna have to spin over here now. Um, okay, I think we're still good as long as that just gets one hit. Nope, that's that's two hits. <laughs> um, it's gonna go archers here, probably. Gonna go with the deep barrel on that as well. It's gonna catch it, okay. Oof da. I'm just gonna go fireball all that back. Um 
There's there's no way the executioner's targeted on that. Okay, I think we're sneaking a dark goblin in right here. Uh, okay, good. He's not gonna catch that yet. Okay. Hopefully. That does not get a hit. Oh my god, that was really good for us there. Okay, if he goes archers, we are fireballing that this time. He's going to have to go play something for the skeletons. He's going to go zap right there. I mean, we get a free Inferno Tower. You go Knight to block the Executioner. Goblin getting for the Hog Rider. Going to need to go log on all that stuff as well. Executioner getting... Way too much value here. He's going to go log on that. Get another free Inferno. Yeah, I'm not able to uh, hear the sound effects right now, so I can't even tell if a zap's going down or anything. Which is really annoying, but that's what I have to do to record. Okay, so he doesn't have a big spell, so as long as we don't really screw up here... In the next little bit of time, we will be taking home very nice win right here. Good game to him. And that should put us at like 6,200, I think, now. Or maybe he just had... No, he just had a lot more trophies than us. Um, What's well, 62 this time coming up? So we're two and one right now. I forget. I might show the last game that I lost. I might not. But yeah, we're two and one right now. And if we can get a win right here, um, then I'll keep trying for sixty three hundred this video. Otherwise, I will just stop once I get another win. If I lose this one, he's got E giant. Um, he's just letting all that go. Which, I mean, he probably doesn't have a small spell. Oh, my. Night Witch with E-Giant. That is my absolute worst nightmare. If he has NATO, too, this could be really bad. It's actually probably better that the Fireball didn't kill the Night Witch right there, or else those bats probably would have murked my... Dark Goblin. Okay, that should not pull. We should be good with the Skeleton Barrel right here. Um, let's see. He's got Bowler this time. Definitely an overcommit. Um, he's got a heavy deck. He's spinning 5 for 3 right there. So, you know, with a Goblin Barrel this time. Okay, he's got NATO. Why did I not think of that? At least he's got that out of cycle right now, so he can't pull units into my into his Electro Giant, that is. Okay. So Dark Goblin should go get a lot of damage on the tower right there. Just gonna go in front of tower up here so it starts hitting the E Giant right away. We're gonna try to log it back as well in case he goes lightning on it, which he does, of course. Um, then we can just go Knight here and should be pretty good. Not too much damage, probably like 300. No, a lot more, a lot more. Um, still good though. Didn't really need the Goblin Gang right there, but whatever. Okay, as long as he doesn't, please don't support that. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to go with the... Dark Goblin here, though. Oh, that's that's not the best tornado, buddy. Um, I'm not sure that's what you want to be doing. Honestly, I'll take that. And go log there. Make sure that locks on. He's not going to get a lightning down in time. And one. Good game to this no skill E Giant Night Witch player. And I guess we'll go on to try for uh, 
6300 um you guys will know if i don't get there because this will be the end of the video then because i'll edit everything out after this unless i get some more good wins so yeah we gotta get one win will put us at 45 6245 like this guy's at the next one will put us at yeah like 70 so yeah we need three wins i think Let's see if we can get it done